All right, today's lesson is solving the third uh, Today is December the 11th, uh, 2013. Okay, um, any equation um, that has sine x uh, cos x or tan x uh, with highest power 1. Uh, is a uh, linear trig equation. Okay. I'm going to say, remember your cast rule. Okay, so we're going back to all that unit circle stuff without the unit circle part. Okay, so when we do these, solve these equations, this is like the question on your cap where you draw the three circles side by side by side, except for in this case, we're not actually going to be drawing the circle, we're just going to be doing algebra with it. Um, it's called a linear trig equation, okay, because it just says sine x, cos x, and tan x is what we're solving. Can anyone guess what tomorrow's lesson is going to be? Okay. Quadratic trig equation is what I was hoping somebody would say. Uh, that's what we'll be on to tomorrow. Okay. So again, I left a blank there. It says, remember your cast rule and sine theta. If I'm dealing with sine, what is my other solution? The first solution is theta. What is the second solution? Sir? Nope. Yes, okay, but I'm looking for an, an angle though. That's what I was looking for. Okay. So the first angle is theta, the other one's 180 minus theta. So again, if you're looking for back to the cast rule again, if here's your theta, the other angle is going to be in the second quadrant there. So there's your cast. Someone else other than Joe, for cosine theta, the second one's going to be Jared. 360 minus theta. Okay, so again, for cast, here's your theta, there's theta two. Okay, that's going to be that. And for tan, someone other than those two, Amy, go ahead. 180 plus theta. So again, we're going to be doing this without the inner circle, we're just doing algebra, that's all we're doing. Okay. Here we go, example one. It says... Um, solve... A zero degrees is less than or equal to theta is less than or equal to 360. And we're going to solve four... Uh, sine theta plus 3 equals 2. All right, Garnet, I'm going to pick on you because I like you. Why do I have to put that 0 is less than or equal to theta is less than or equal to 360? Why do I have to put that in there? Yeah, they can go. Remember, this is a periodic equation. Let's pretend we are graphing 4 sine theta plus 3. Let's pretend we are graphing that. What's the domain of that graph? Anything, right? It will go on forever and ever and ever. Okay, so we can do that. Um, should we graph this first? Yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe we'll graph this one first. Okay, so for part, I'm going to say sketch um, y equals 4 sine theta uh, plus 3. Now, again, we're only going to do this for the first time, and we're never going to do this again. Or almost never. Okay. We'll do this only two graphs today, so I'll do Amp axis, period, action points, um, phase shift, and sine step flat. Okay, is somebody see Spider Man on the desk by chance? No. Or we can see that Spider Man behind you. Here we go first, in fact. 
Okay, are there any of those six things that you know from that? What the four means or what the three means in that case? Yeah, of course, the first one, the first one being the amplitude. Yes, yeah, very good. Okay. And just a reminder, the amplitude is going to be the vertical stretch of your graph, right? William, what else do I know about this graph? Yeah, just 360. Because remember, the coefficient in front of this is what? What's the coefficient in front of the theta? Just a 1. So it's like sine 1 theta. So the period is going to be 360 over 1, which is conveniently is 360. Good. Okay, Caitlin, something else, please. Sabrina, coming back to bug you the rest of the day, you realize that. Sabrina, something? Yeah, good. See, this is, I like this. For those listening online here, see what fear does to people there, you see? Fear all of a sudden, I'll take you the rest of the day, all of a sudden, to get the answer. Sabrina, is there anything else I know about this equation? She's going to pass. I'm going to check on you later on today then, too. Arden, anything else to know about this equation? Just 90. The same thing, 90 divided by 1, which is just 90. Good. Maddie, anything else you know? Okay, so they offer, where does sign start at? Yeah, it's zero. It starts at your axis. So. In this case, your axis is just going to be uh, three. Okay. Here's the tricky part, and I don't want to single anyone out at this time, since the internet knows how mean I am right now. I'm going to open this up to anyone. What is the phase shift in this case? Amy, she's doing zero sign. Okay, the shift is actually zero. If you remember when we graphed this, it'd be like bracket theta plus something or theta minus something. So in this case, there's no shift. Do, as I said, I want to do a quick graph of this so we can actually see what we're actually solving. So I'm going to do a very fast graph. Um, you guys, again, should be pros of graphing after the last two nights. If you're not, please take great care um, in what I'm doing here right now. Okay, so I'm going to graph. I need to only care about from 0 to 360, so my graph is going to go from 0 to 360. Uh, Okay, so here's my theta, and here's my y, and then there's my y, and there's my theta. Okay. On the front, Adam, what should I do first on this graph, if anything? Sort of laid one, okay? I gotta go up to, <laughs> make sure that Adam's gonna pick on you. How high am I going up to the graph? How low am I going up to the graph? Yeah. And again, for how he got that, if you're not sure, axis is in the middle of the 3, 3 plus 4 is 7 to the top, and 3 minus 4 is 7 to the bottom. Okay, so what we're going to do first is my axis, which is 1 there. I'm going to put number 1. Then I'm going to draw my beautiful line in green, and I'm going to go across here on that 3. So this right here is the middle of your graph. Cool, how are we doing? So far, so good? So that's the axis. That's going to be the middle of your graph right there. Garnet, max and min, we said we're right. Okay, so 7 and negative 1. So if you're sitting there um, at home or in the back of the class or in the front of the class, uh, Jerry, what all we're saying for this is that you're going up 4, right, up 4, because that's your amplitude, and then down 4. Okay. So this is your axis. There's your max. Okay. All right, Jenna, what do I do now, please? Uh, You're on out? Somebody help me there. What do we do next? Get down that angle here. Yeah, okay, so this is actually going to be, I've already done this. Um, these, this is going to be my theta axis. What are my action points? Okay. So, again, for what's an action point, this will be translated what an action point means. Trying to be a somewhat a definition. Yeah. 
Yeah, go for it. Yeah, it's sort of how the graph goes your match back to them. Every night we just sort of flip one of those two points on the graph. And we only have to go up to 360. So I can make this as big as I want as long as I can get to 360 on my graph. And I can just every key on mine, you can do it different on yours if you need to. So all we need we really care about is what we Okay, there is no shift in this case. So Jared, what does that mean? My first point on this graph is going to be yep. where? Okay, so Jared says zero and seven. I said incorrect. Okay, a lot of pressure. Remember, we're using sign here, right? Um, sign plus sort of axis, and that first point actually is going to be here. All right, not only where is the next point on my graph going to be? Yeah, so it's going to be 90 across and up to 7. Liam, where's the next point on the graph going to be? Yeah, 3 and 180, so then we're stepping over, so 180 and 3. Nicole, where's the next point on the graph going to be? No? Yeah, it's a negative 1, right? Because remember how these graphs are all going to form like a wave, right? So again, we're just going to step over to 270 and then down to negative 1. And then we're going to go up back up to here. Now, what today's lesson told me is that we need practice on graphing. Okay. That's the first thing it tells me. Sorry, I, I apologize. My wife traveled in this to get to her job in Chesney. It's this big one. I'm going to hit pause here and I tell a joke. <laughs> I don't want the internet in case my wife is listening. Well, she won't be. No one's in their right mind. Okay, so the point is for this, why did I actually draw this graph? The reason I did this was I'm trying, for what we're actually solving, we want to solve when this is equal to 2. So when the y value is equal to 2. So we're looking for that value there and that value there. Okay, does that make sense? We're looking for when the y value is equal to 2. Yes. Why don't you go down? Oh, the first point. Yeah. Just so we sign those. Because um, think, okay, think back to being a circle. At zero, remember, sign is going to be your y value. So at zero degrees, it's going to be zero. And then at nine degrees, it's going to be zero. It's going to go just up to the map. And that's, that's where the original graph came from. That is the map. Answer your question. Okay, um, we're going to actually do some algebra here right now. What we were actually hoping to solve was 4 sine theta plus 3 equals 2. Okay, I'm going to hit stop on this video. I want you guys to try and solve that as best you can. <laughs> 